Hey there, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cuspers. How y'all doing? Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, squad? So, continuing with our series for the Cuspers, um, we've got Sagittarius and Capricorn here. So keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluids. So just because this is dated for the month of March or this is a message that's coming through in the month of March doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you at that moment. Also keep in mind that um, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. For those of you that are cross-watching here for a Sagittarius Capricorn Cusper, keep in mind that I am going to be speaking to the Cusper here, but if what I'm saying to you resonates for you as, on your end of the spectrum or your end of the story, then please take it as it resonates. But like we always say here, please don't try and fit anything anywhere that it doesn't naturally go. Okay. If it's not your story, if it doesn't resonate with you, if it doesn't seem to make sense for you, then that's just not the message for you at that time. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm just going to be looking into the general energies for you guys. We're not doing love this time because this is a new series and I'm still working through it, still gauging it, see how we're, we can do with it, what we can do with it. And if it, it really is popular enough. Yeah. If you guys like it enough, then I'll go into love later on. Okay, so if you are questioning, you would be considered a Sagittarius Capricorn Cusper if you were born between December 18th and the 24th. Yes, December 18th and 24th. So with that, with that said, let's get into your energy and see what we've got for you. Yeah, let's do it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarius Capricorn Cuspers. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for the month of March 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids. So we're going to start with the overall energy, just the general energy for you guys. So for my Sagittarius Capricorn Cuspers, let's see what we've got for you here. My Sagittarius Capricorn Cuspers. All right. What have we got for you guys? Let's see. Sagittarius Capricorn, Sagittarius Capricorn. March 2020. Okay. All right. Two more cards, please. Spirit from my Sagittarius Capricorn Cuspers here. December 18th to the 24th. Okay. Overall energy is the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. All right. So here's the thing, y'all. I think somebody here is going through a massive awakening in some way. I do feel like this is relationship oriented, not going to lie. It's just what I'm feeling about this. Um, but I think someone is starting to see very clearly a lack of appreciation or and, and or deceitful energies, specifically how someone has been deceitful towards you or you how you have been deceitful towards them. In terms of appreciation, we have sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. We have appreciation. We have deceit. We also have happy family, the angel of strength, and the door to spirit. And now what is making me feel like this is kind of like a conscious awakening is this Archangel Ariel energy here. I'm sorry, Uriel here with the, with the seventh chakra, which is your crown chakra, which is uh, your connection to higher centers is, off, is where you receive downloads from, of higher wisdom from the universe. Underneath the seventh chakra is all tied up. And what I'm getting with that is for the long, I feel like this is a marriage. I'm not going to lie. There is, a, there is a woman or a feminine energy that I'm feeling picking up on here that is dealing with um, seeing a marriage very clearly for what it truly is. 
and maybe what it has been all along. Um, and this is actually this is actually a pretty big thing is what this feels like here. This is actually like a real a huge awakening or a huge eye opener. I, it could even be that something happened recently that completely blew something wide open for you. I'm not so sure that it was all that obvious for maybe everyone else involved or everyone else around you, but for whomever this individual is, I feel like something blew, something happened, or you realized something, or you saw something, or you, you picked up on something that just completely blew the lid off of everything for you. And now you're seeing everything differently. Now, even though this kind of does feel fairly devastating, whatever it is, especially if, you're, if this is like a long-term relationship, 555 on the counter, or like a long-term marriage, um, and the, the, the breakup or the dissolution of that marriage or relationship is fairly devastating, it's ultimately, though, breaking you free from being all tied up. And it could very well be that maybe for the for a, a, a good amount of time, you were kind of like suspicious. I'm hearing unworthy. So maybe you felt unworthy. You felt like, um, you know, okay. You were maybe, okay, okay. I understand what I'm hearing now. So what I'm hearing, what I'm picking up on is like for the longest time, you might've been suspicious of this, but you couldn't quite put your finger on it. But then also there were underlying feelings of unworthiness that kept you from even investigating, looking deeper into the situation or even being confident and feeling confident enough to work towards breaking yourself free. But now something has come out, something has happened here in which like there is no denying it any longer. And because of that, you have the angel of strength and the door to spirit. Okay. So now it feels like you've potentially accepted your worth or, or understood what your worth is. And that's allowing you to be in this position where spirit can actually help you. It's not that spirit couldn't help you before or wasn't capable of helping you or was denying you of any help or any service. You were denying yourself of that by believing you were less than worthy of it. But now that whatever has happened here has empowered you enough, empowered you, yes, empowered you enough to believe that you are deserving of better, now this door to spirit is, is not only in front of you, but is open or can be opened in order for you to move forward in your life. Symbolically, you can look at, you can look at opening, physically opening that door to spirit as asking for help because spirit is not going to just interject in your life, even though they are looking at you, they're, they're, they're watching you and know very damn well that you need the help and know exactly what help you could use. But unless you open that door for them, i.e. give them permission, as in, in keeping with the law of free will, because they're not going to interject unless you ask for it because of that law of free will, they're not, they're not going to help you. So now you can look at opening that door as asking for help, okay? So... Okay, we're gonna get a little into some clarification here. I, I, I wanna clarify this deceit. Straight up and down. I wanna know what that is. One more shuffle. Okay. So, what is this deceit here for my Capricorn Sagittarius Cuspers? Oh. Okay. Well, somebody was manipulating someone else, or I'm gonna say someone was manipulating you, you being the queen of cups for financial, because of financial reasons. This person had some sort of, some sort of upper hand financially, had some sort of material upper hand, had some sort of way of holding something over on you. Queen of Cups was being manipulated here. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so check it out. And I, I kind of feel like I'm hearing love bombing. Overall energy is the chariot though. Okay, so look, they're not really, they're not, uh, yes, they are telling me. Okay, so either 
you were being manipulated as this queen of cups here because you're ever you're so loving and compassionate and care, you're a caregiver you're very deeply giving um very emotionally aware but still maybe not aware enough to avert any sort of manipulation however that's not that's the uh, it's more like this person had a way of manipulating you and it was all in service of well we got to keep the balance and either that was something they were saying to you or that was something you were saying to yourself in 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 order to stay and keep up with this situation now the other flip side of the coin could be maybe you were the emotional manipulated the emotionally manipulative one okay either you were being manipulated or you are the manipulator here and that's nasty like this but like using this queen of cups energy in a manipulative way is gross <laughs> is really really gross all right now ultimately what they're saying here cuz the rest of what you have is the ace of cups the hanged man the moon and justice so basically this deceit taught you what true love really is either taught you how to love someone else or taught you how to learn yourself i what taught you how to love yourself i feel like ultimately it taught you how to love yourself it put you in a position to say you know what i'm gonna give myself the love and care that i know that i deserve the hanged man you came out of the illusion with the moon and now justice is being served here at the bottom of the deck overall energy is the chariot you could be dealing with a Cancerian because you have the, the Queen of Cups here and the Chariot here. You could be dealing with a Libran. You could be dealing with a Piscean. It doesn't have to be, though. Those are just some things that I'm noticing. Um, or you could have any of those in your chart somewhere. But ultimately, it's put you on a path or put you in a position to be, have to find greater balance within yourself. And now you can move forward confidently. I want to look at what is, okay, so fine. So that's cool, spirit. So what's justice here then? What is this justice? Ah, uh, okay. You have overall energy of the nine of cups with the four of cups and the six of cups. Uh, so... To be honest, what I'm picking up on is leaving some sort of soulmate behind. But also what I'm hearing is no longer missing out on an opportunity to find true love or the right love for yourself. Nine of cups, six of cups, four of cups in reverse. Finally taking that offer from the universe to move forward with your life and do what, makes it, do what it is that makes you feel happy, okay? Okay, let's, I, I, what I want to look at next is door to spirit. What is this door to spirit? None other than the Ten of Swords. Putting the situation to rest. Spirit absolutely, yeah, look at that. With the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I, I mean, literally moving away. Moving out of that house. Moving out of the state. Moving out of the town. Or just moving away from the relationship, leaving rough waters behind in favor of calmer, more peaceful, more loving waters. Let's, a little bit, let's look a little bit deeper at this Ten of Swords, please, Spirit. What else can you say about this Ten of Swords? Yeah, someone's been activated here. Knight of Wands energy. Okay, this is... Um, I feel like you're very, yeah, it really is time to go. And you know it's time to go. You're ready to go. You have this confidence in yourself that you've never had before. Or at least you struggled with accepting within yourself. You, you struggled with expressing. Not anymore. Knight of Wands. <laughs> Good luck stopping you now. But that's all. Ooh. Yo. Good luck stopping you now. Oh, shit. 
Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, homie, homegirl said, look, I know exactly who I am. I know exactly what's going on here. Fuck you. I'm out. Damn. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. I'm out. <laughs> Yo. With the Five of Swords also at the bottom of that, King of Cups. No, damn. Damn. Okay. That's excellent. That is excellent. Good for you. Good for you. Let's close this out with the Moonology deck. So what guidance do we have for my... Saggy Cappy Cuspers here. Last shuffle. Another 555 five, five on the counter. Let's see. For my Saggy Cappy Cuspers, what guidance do we have to close out this reading? Okay, as in terms... Uh, all right, new moon eclipse. Expect powerful change. Why aren't you why aren't you doing that? Expect powerful change. Okay. In terms of what's coming next, what it is you need to do, where it is you're going, how everything's going to work out, chill. Full moon in Gemini. The answers you seek are coming. Or well, the answers you need are coming. New moon in Sagittarius. There you are, Sag. Again, because also with this Knight of Wands energy, this is Sagittarius energy, in my opinion, as a reader, okay? New moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Go on, get your life. I know you better get your life because it's yours. Cool. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again, hopefully for the month of April. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.